Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm standing on the north uh, side of 512 516 Fifth Street in Wilmette. I'm looking down the alley to show you that the Baha'i Temple is maybe a third to a half a mile east, which is right across the street from Washington Park, which is the park that is um, on the lakefront over there. So this is a terrific neighborhood. Um, if you wanted more information, you could Zillow the homes, get the idea of what the real estate is around here. I'm gonna start outside of the building and walk in so you can sort of get a feel for the security. Um, I'm, it's very seldom that people ask me about security in this area. So here's the courtyard. And as we walk in, We have, you see the address, 512, 516. This door is open. I think P is over here. This is the lobby. So this actually was built as a very high-end building. The communities on the lakefront didn't want multifamily homes and resisted them for a long time. When they were finally allowed to be built, they were built to a very high standard. Let me just check. Whoops. Yes, I'm in the right one. This door is the security door. And we need a key to open this. So let's see if I can do it. There we go. So that door will lock behind me. Then we walk up. And this part of the video will be a little bit blurry. The camera does not respond well to changes in lighting. But we're going to the second floor. And we walk in. The door is unlocked deliberately while we're getting it ready. And I'll show you just the front door. It has a deadbolt right there and a series of locks right there, and an additional deadbolt on top. So it's a very secure front door. And as I walk through the apartment, we have the back door. The back door is a key lock. So when it's time to be locked, you have a deadbolt right there and it's a key from the outside and a key from the inside whoops and that's the lock for the back door if we go out the back door whoops a daisy we have three neighboring apartments that also share this back space. The old ordinance for these buildings was a front and a back door and a window in every room. So this was sort of like a fire escape kind of thing. And again, now we're walking down two flights, which will feel like two and a half flights. And we get to this area, which has gas meters, electrical meters. You can put a bike in here. Um, but we have this door, which is locked. So this door is locked. And again, can only be opened by the door that opens the security lock on the front side of the building. And that comes back out to the alley where we started. That's where I started. And there we see in the background the Baha'i Temple. This is where he would throw his garbage and recycling. As we come down here, again, if you were to look at these homes on Zillow, I know they're over seven figures. So it's a fairly affluent area. However, not every home is seven figures. 
This building is a condominium building, and that's our neighbor, that's our immediate neighbor. So we'll come down this way, and if you're very astute, you can see the exhaust vents for the dryers. So the street in front of us is Linden. There are the dryer vents. And we'll walk into the laundry area this way. So this door can be accessed without a key, but the laundry room cannot be. There we go, and give that a push. And we're into the laundry area. Oops, a daisy. And I'll give you a quick look at it. There are four washers and four dryers. You see the four dryers against the uh, wall. We've got two uh, basins, wash basins, if you will. The laundry machines are coin operated, as are the dryers. I think they're all a dollar and a half which is pretty standard at this point. And I think maybe there's a little nervousness around security, but that is the rent drop box right there. So the landlord is totally comfortable having people put the rent through right there and has never had a problem in the four years that we've been working with them. So we'll come back out of the laundry now. Ordinarily I'd flip this, but I didn't shut the door all the way. We'll close that. Now you need a key to get in. We'll walk back out of the building. Again, it's mostly home ownership with just a few condo buildings, this rental building, and the rental building across the street. The rental building across the street's a little bit of a landmark building in that it was the first uh, poured concrete building and is built in uh, Wilmette because the Chicago Carpenters Union wouldn't allow it in Chicago. So we'll walk down the sidewalk. And here we are on Linden. Thank you.